since a really young age I always had the I don't know if to call it a different kind of understanding of life and art was something that I was always drawn to and I think it was part of it maybe even as an escape from reality that I could just drop into my own space and create Um, in my scenario, my father was not very impressed of me, wished to be an artist and... Uh... Even in my start, I actually started back in 2003 uh, dealing with glass and uh, starting to create uh, geometric sculptures. And in 2005, I arrived to Australia and started doing markets, local markets in the area in here. Uh, I will never forget the first piece I sold was a small Star of David for $5 that I packed in a sandwich uh, paper bag. <laughs> After a year of me trying to be at the market, she's like, let's just stop it, you know, let's just import something or let's just, I don't know, do something else because uh, it just doesn't make any sense. And I was, and, and I said, no, no, I, I don't think we should. I think we should actually, if we, if people don't want to buy something small, let's make something twice the size of it. And if, that's not good enough, we will make something twice the size of that again. And the drawing of, um, like something just kept drawing me to create more and more uh, shapes uh, of geometric uh, designs and uh, tending them to lights as well, which made a beautiful change in uh, the direction of my art. Uh, kind of became one of the only persons on the planet really that creates geometric lights with my own kind of style. So yeah, I'm really happy that uh, I never gave up on my dream, I never gave up on my own feelings and yeah, and I don't think I ever will. <laughs>